Hello, today's devotional can be found in Genesis chapter 26, verse 5. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Alright. So as I've said, there's two reactions we can have to commandments. We can obey or not obey. And if we choose to obey, we progress. If we choose to not only obey, but honor the commandments, the statutes, and the laws of God, we can progress. And hopefully, with keeping commandments, we will desire to make ordinances to be able we will be desirous to partake of ordinances of the Lord thereby making covenants with God and with ordinances comes charges and these are responsibilities to do certain things that may honor the covenants that you make. And you shouldn't be afraid to make these covenants because the covenants are very special. The covenants are very sacred. The covenants will help us to become closer to Heavenly Father. And it's because of the atonement of Jesus Christ that we can make these covenants. It's because of Christ that we can look beyond our natural man and hear the voice of the Lord and have the opportunity to obey it and be desirous to keep the commandments, the laws of God and the statutes of God. And by, be, and by keeping the commandments, we open ourselves to the teachings of the Spirit. That we might be able to learn and grow. And eventually desire to make covenants and undergo ordinances of the Lord. That we might become more able to understand and enjoy any any eternal blessings that the Lord may have in store for us in this life and the next. But it's all a simple matter of obedience. Obedience can begin that wonderful cycle. Because obedience comes first, and the rest will come. Because, I mean, it takes a lot of courage to obey, but it's very worth it to obey. So we shouldn't be afraid. Because obedience will bring a lot more blessings than disobedience will. And being responsible with the covenants we make and not and continuing on after we do the ordinances for ourselves by can, by doing the ordinances for those who cannot do them for themselves it helps us to be able to keep the commandments, it gives us a reason to keep them besides loving the Lord because if we keep the commandments we remain worthy to be able to participate in those ordinances and we honor our covenants and the laws of God also because I mean Christ had to satisfy the law the law demanded justice on our imperfect souls and he satisfied that law by paying for our souls with his blood. And the, the very least we could do is listen to the Spirit, keep the commandments, and be able to go forward that we might make something of ourselves now that we have the opportunity. But it's our choice what we wish to do. We can either obey or not obey. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.